Hello everyone, my name is Eden Turner and I'm here with BWB TV. We're joined today by Martin Meeson, who is CEO of Fujifilm Diasynth Biotechnologies. Welcome, Martin. Hi Eden, it's good to be here, thank you. Fantastic, okay, so we'll just crack on. Uh, so uh, Fujifilm Corporation has had quite an evolution from film to healthcare to the life sciences space. Uh, can you walk us through that process? Uh, what experience from the film industry has actually made this possible? Yes, um, Eden, so um, the, at Fujifilm, they've really made a, a very strategic commitment to transform themselves successfully to a healthcare business. Um, since 2000, they've invested over $9 billion in mergers and acquisitions in order um, to achieve this successful transformation. I, I think it's been done really well. And last year in 2019, um, over 22% of the revenue of the whole of the Fujifilm organization uh, was in the healthcare sector. That's nearly $5 billion uh, worth of revenue. So they've now made quite a significant transition to that space. I think though it does build on the roots of healthcare and that healthcare focus within Fujifilm. I mean, even back as far as 1936, they were involved in launching the X-ray. And back in 1971, within the diagnostic space, they launched their first um, endoscope system. So they have had some roots into that healthcare. And as the decline in film um, happened, you know, they really looked to that space to be able to, to leverage and they've transformed themselves into the business that we are today. So that's been a really successful transformation, been very focused, been very deliberate, and you know, now being very successful as well. I think in the second part of your question was really around the, the film and the manufacturing. Manufacturing film, as uh, I'm sure you know, is an extremely complex manufacturing process involving many different techniques, many different very complex ways of working. And if you think about that and then transfer that over to the work that we're doing in the healthcare space, when you're working with biological systems, you know, very, very significant amounts of work needs to be done, both in the process and the way that you handle those systems and the way that you do the analytics around them. And we have taken you know, direct processes from the core Fujifilm business and employ them in the work that we're doing in the healthcare sector. So it's really been a fantastic transformation that's gone on in that space. If you, we've spoken to Mr. Kamori, our chairman, the chairman of Fujifilm. Um, I heard him speak at the 50th anniversary event in, in New York. And, and he talked about the fact that when you take a picture, it has to be right. You have to be able to capture that moment. You have to be able to rely on the film that you're using. And that commitment to quality within Fujifilm just transfers almost seamlessly through into the work we're doing. You know, as a company providing, you know, medicines and treatments that are going out there into people, our commitment to quality is absolutely fundamental to what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. So there's a very, very nice relationship between the core work that Fujifilm used to do in the film space and the work that they're doing today in the healthcare sector within our part of the business and the other systems and diagnostic tools that they're using as well. Fantastic, thank you. That's really interesting because <laughs> it's such a diverse company, isn't it? Um, it is, yeah. Uh, we have noticed that Fujifilm has been doing a lot of innovation work uh, in the life science space. Uh, your division in particular has introduced in-house technology in the marketplace, such as continuous processing technology, uh, cell line and AAV platforms. Uh, can you tell us a bit more about this innovation-driven approach? As you know, and, and I'm sure you, you read quite uh, regularly Fujifilm is very committed to getting value from innovation and I think it's that value part that is important in that statement. They're both committed to innovation and then transferring that into something that can be used within the marketplace. Uh, Fujifilm Diasynth Biotechnologies, we focus on the areas where we operate. So we operate in the development and the manufacture of these medicines. So we've really focused our innovation on how we do those portions of the work better We've produced cell lines uh, for our cell culture clients. We've pr produced the paveway system for our microbial clients. And as you've just said, we're working to very soon launch our AAV platform, which helps support our clients in that advanced therapy space. It's not just in that area as well. We've also um, focused on just the manufacturing. And um, we've recently relaunched the Symphonics system, which is actually a bioprocessing rig, which greatly simplifies 
the process of manufacturing these drugs. And then we also are working to link that together. Uh, so there's multiple of these rigs linked together so we can actually do proper continuous processing, which is an, a fantastic way to be able to use lots of these medicines. Normally it's a fed batch, so you make something and stop, make something and stop. Being able to go continuously significantly increases the amount of product that we can make. And obviously that's something that our partners are very interested in. Um, we do partner with our sister companies as well. So you mentioned Fujifilm is a, a diverse organization and, and that's fantastic for having access uh, to different spaces and slightly um, different um, ways of working and also complementary uh, technologies. So we work with the Fujifilm Irvine Scientific Division. We've developed proprietary media, uh, which get really good results for our partners when they're, they're using that. We've worked with Fujifilm Dynamics in areas around the advanced therapies. And we're continuously working uh, with, the, uh, you know, with the research department at Kaize in Tokyo on that very core level of innovation as well. So it's really great to be involved in such a diverse and such a rich network of, of innovation. So both within Fujifilm and then we benefit as that as Fujifilm Dyson Biotechnologies on a, on a regular basis. So great to see that innovation you know, continuing in our space as well. Fantastic. Yeah, the resources available, it's going to be great there. Um, and uh, of course, we can't possibly do this interview uh, without mentioning uh, COVID-19. Uh, so for Fujifilm and Fujifilm Diasynth Biotechnologies uh, have been quite active in this space as well. Um, what does it mean to be uh, an essential business during a pandemic? Uh, what's been your approach to this? Yeah, we're extremely proud that we've had the expertise and the knowledge and the world-class assets to be able to respond in this current time. You know, this is something that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Our customers come to us with medicines that they need developing and making for clinical trials, and then ultimately those products are launched and they need to maintain that supply of medicines. We've been able to work across different modalities uh, to offer vaccines and therapeutics which will tackle uh, this pandemic that we're in today. Um, we're working on over 10 different uh, medicines, both in the therapeutic and vaccine space, to be able to do this. And I think what's been interesting as well, we've seen some different approaches taken. Um, so we've partnered to accelerate things with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation on some significant work that we're doing there around some um, therapeutics and then, as you probably read, we've partnered with the Operation Warp Speed team as well uh, to work on some vaccines in the in the US. And that's been a slightly different approach they're taking, uh, but we're we're proud to be able to partner uh, with uh, the companies that we're working with in order to to be able to respond in this manner. I did say earlier that this is something we do on a day to day basis, and one of the things within the pandemic is we've had to make sure that we're continuing the supply of critical medicines. Our partners are relying on us to produce medicines for them to put into clinical trials and also we have several commercial products as well and you know as you can imagine it's not just the pandemic that's going on out there there are people who need these medicines so we've had to respond to make sure that we can continue to produce we've had to maintain a, a seamless supply of the medicines that we're making and supporting a, a range of different uh, partners over a hundred different medicines that we're working on on a day-to-day -day basis throughout this time uh, so it's really been our approach has really been to make sure that we are there for our partners we, we are offering the the drugs that they need and also the flexibility that they need to operate you know slightly differently uh, within this pandemic situation absolutely yeah i think that just shows the strength and resolve of the company there and martin is there anything any final words you'd like to give to the audience I think just in closing, I really would just like to recognize the staff members that we've got here at Fujifilm Dyson Biotechnologies. Um, their flexibility and their commitment throughout this pandemic has been absolutely phenomenal. I think we have to remember that when I say we've been, been working to continue the supply of these critical medicines in response to this pandemic situation, our staff are also living uh, within and working within that pandemic. and. You know, I'm just really proud of the work that they've done, the support they've given one another and the commitment that we've got. I did talk about our commitment to partnership as well, and it is important to, for us to remember that, you know, our core purpose is to make sure that we partner with people uh, at all times to make sure that we're advancing the medicines that we're going to need tomorrow. 
Fantastic. Thank you so much, Martin. Okay, this has been Martin Meeson, CEO of Future Home Dynasty Biotechnologies. I thank you for watching BWB TV. Thank you, Evan.